All right, what in the world is this? Hippie jump to Superman. All the way down, gets back on the board. Okay, guys, we have a lot to talk about today. Hey, what's up, guys? Zek here. Welcome back to another Skate 4 update video. Yes, today EA has dropped their ninth Skate 4 playtest highlights video, showcasing all of their new updates, mechanics, and progress on the new game that they're calling Skate. We're approaching four years since this game was first announced, and almost two years since they first revealed some gameplay. So the optimist in me says a release date has to be coming soon. But as always, guys, I'm going to show you this brand new Skate 4 gameplay trailer in its entirety without interruption. And then afterwards, we'll take a closer look. We'll see what we can learn from it. But all right, guys, without Without further ado, enjoy this brand new Skate 4 gameplay. All right, there you have it. And guys, I got to point out my favorite trick in this video. This was so sick. We saw a manual to wall ride manual and then back to manual. And it was actually super smooth. Honestly, this feels like the most grounded playtest highlights video yet. I mean, there were one to two crazy, like high building gaps. Like we saw this giant gap into like what I can only assume is some sort of like bowl. Like this is a whole custom park area. We also have this opening clip of like a hundred people jumping off of a building onto another building. Obviously, this is not very grounded. But I feel like the dev team was flexing some of their new grind mechanics today, including sacking on a rail. But we actually had a pretty good look at the mechanics here. Like look at this. Starts with a front smith. And this is going to go into a combo, into a blunt slide, and then like a switch 5-0. That was clean. And look at this. We have a slappy to 50-50 to 5-0. Kind of tweaks over into a no slide, into a crooked grind, back into a 50-50. I mean, the grinds are going crazy in this video. I don't know if you guys noticed this one, but this one was pretty crazy. You had like a nolly 270 board slide into no slide like the transition from one obstacle to another while grinding or sliding is so smooth i mean this right here is another perfect example of it i mean it starts with a super steezy hard flip but what happens afterwards i, I really feel like this is the first play test video where we're seeing stuff like this this is a board slide to board slide to board slide like that is board sliding down that like little three block like in other skate games this would definitely be hard like you'd be magnetizing onto things but right there it just kind of happens another really nice trick worth noting is this manual line here i mean we have another hard flip into a very clean manual there's like some subtle balance things here i'm thinking it's looking pretty good but really the end of this clip is the most interesting part manual to wally on the chalkboard up and over i mean this is this is far beyond what you've been able to do in other games i'm impressed i feel like the mechanics are really coming together this kind of feels like a response to a lot of people saying the game is looking too crazy and unrealistic because i mean look at this like this is a perfect example of how it's becoming more grounded like watch the way the front foot here like catches the board kind of pushes it out 360 kind of lands in like a little pivot and like barely gets out of it I mean, it's almost hard to appreciate it when you watch it back in full speed, but it definitely is nice. Now, a few months ago, they actually released a different playtest highlights video that I didn't really cover on this channel, but there were some really interesting moments I still want to show you guys. Starting with, obviously, whatever this is, a hippie jump to Superman. This is one of the bails. Oh, that's brutal. But yeah, if we watch this one more time in slow motion, I mean, what goes on here? Like a hippie jump? It looks like you can do some sort of animation in the air while you're hippie jumping. Like, obviously, this is not very realistic, but the the fact that you have enough control to do something like that is pretty cool. But this video had some other crazy moments. Like you can see the object dropper is going to be returning. This guy puts down a ramp in order to get his nice kick flip crooked grind here. That's actually pretty smooth. In slow motion, you can definitely scrutinize it more. But look at the flick 
on the like kick flip backside 360 all the way down into this kind of crazy obstacle like there's so many situations where it's a blend of like really sick animations and mechanics with like some crazy situation like look at this what are these guys doing they're all like climbing up this construction tower like, I don't even know what's happening here. I just saw a crazy skate clip, and now I'm looking at this. We even got tiny glimpses of them adding textures to things. Like, look at this, like, glassy or, like, metallic thing. You can actually see, like, the reflections on this. Like, that's some crazy graphics that we've never seen in the skate series before. And, guys, the last thing I want to point out is the absolute scale of this game. Look at these people scaling up this building. Like, can you scale any building? Like, I don't know how it's going to work, but if you can go, like, to any of these places, if you can go up on top of things, I mean, this is just an epic shot right here of the city so far. It looks like there's a bunch of, like, waypoints coming out of the ground. Maybe that's where, like, challenges are. I don't know. There's, like, ramps coming off the buildings. You can kind of see the whole map coming together. But just the fact that they climbed up onto this building... I mean, this game's gonna have some verticality to it. Like, you're gonna be going up on top of buildings to do things. I am excited, guys. As I said, it's been like four years since this game was announced. Two years since we first got uh, a look at the gameplay. It's definitely coming together. I hope we get a release date soon. That is my biggest disappointment today. No release date, no hints at any release date. But guys, the second there is a release date, I'll make sure to let you know. But as always, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you excited? Are you nervous? I'd love to hear all of your comments down below. But that's gonna do it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.